Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it's a Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really, really good recipes for you that I am incredibly excited about. So if you're excited as well, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five days a week. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes. Nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely head on over, join us there. We would love to have you. So we have some cooking to do, so let's jump in. For breakfast this week, I am making biscuit egg casserole. This is going to be like biscuits and gravy with eggs, a complete delicious breakfast in casserole form. I am really, really excited for this. It is savory. It is hearty. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, a can of biscuits. If you can find these smaller biscuits, I would definitely pick those up. It's going to save you some points. I will put points for the modification recipe, lower point recipe on my website. If you want to make a couple of small modifications, including the smaller biscuits, you're going to need some low fat milk. I always use Fairlife for the extra protein, light shredded cheese, low fat mozzarella, eggs, and then the other modification can be your sausage. If you use the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, I'll pop a picture in right here for you. Your points will be lower than my points for the recipe. So again, if you substitute this sausage and the biscuits, you can get a little bit lower points and that modification will be on my website. So let's jump into making breakfast. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my turkey sausage. I couldn't find the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. I am using my brand new knife from Redmond. I get a lot of questions on the knives that I use in my videos. This knife is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I love the wood handle and this black top layer that looks like splattered paint. And boy, it cuts like a dream. It cuts through everything. It's amazing for slicing fat off of chicken, pork chops, and steak. It cuts vegetables and fruit with ease, and it is just such a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing knife. It also comes in this really nice black box, so it would make a great gift for somebody, or you could even store the knife in the box to protect it. There is a little plastic protector piece on the end of the knife, just so that if it is sitting in a drawer by itself, it's not sharp when you reach in to grab out your knife. But let me just tell you how incredible this knife is. It is one of the best quality, best slicing knives that I have ever used. I'm actually thinking I might pick up a second one because I love it that much. But if you are looking for a great knife, if you struggle cutting chicken, fruits, vegetables, definitely pick this one up. And the best part about it is it's super affordable. So I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees. I am going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then my least favorite part of using these canned biscuits is opening them. It always scares me. As always, made me jump. All right, we're going to take the biscuits and we're going to place them in the bottom of our baking dish. And then we're going to spread them out, basically creating a biscuit type of crust. And then I just take my hands and just kind of spread them out. Do your best just to create that crust layer in the bottom of your baking dish. When these cook, they will expand and fill in the empty space. Over the top of our biscuits, we're going to sprinkle the sausage. So whether you cut yours up like I did or you use the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, we're going to sprinkle that right on top of the biscuits. And then we're adding one cup of light shredded cheese and one cup of mozzarella cheese. I love when recipes have lots of cheese in them, like this one, it just adds such a yummy, ooey gooey cheesy taste. 
So here's what our biscuit casserole looks like so far. Now we're going to put together the egg portion. Into a bowl, you're going to crack eight eggs. We're going to add one cup of milk and some salt and pepper and then whisk it all together. And then we're pouring the egg mixture right on top of the biscuits, sausage, and cheese. And then we're going into our 425 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the eggs are cooked completely through. You'll want to shake it and make sure there's no jiggle. Look at how amazing this biscuit egg casserole looks. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. It actually reminds me of the smell when you go into Cracker Barrel. If you know, you know. That's what it smells like in my kitchen. This looks so good, cheesy, full of sausage. Those biscuits got nice and browned. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories here on the screen for you. And don't forget, I will put the points for the, modif the modified recipe on my recipe website, which should save you a little bit of points that way. But this is going to be so good all week with some fruit, I cannot wait. this week I am making a Greek meatball bowl. This is the month of bowls. I've been loving having them for lunch. They're such a great option and you get a protein, healthy fats, vegetables, sometimes fruit depending on the bowl and it's just been really good to have all month. So let me show you what's in our Greek meatball bowl. First we're going to need some thyme, minced garlic, olives of your choice. You could do green olives, black olives. You'll need some non-fat Greek yogurt, feta cheese, salt and pepper, red bell pepper, chopped lettuce of your choice. I went with a romaine mix. You could use really any lettuce. You'll need a cucumber, green onions, one pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, grape or cherry tomatoes, fresh mint and fresh basil. You could do dried if you can't get your hands on fresh, but I love as much fresh herbs in my meals as possible. So let's get started on our Greek meatball bowls. chopped up for my bowls. I like to pre-chop everything, that way it's ready to go. You guys saw how amazing this knife worked. I am obsessed with it. I can't wait to pick up a second one. It would make, again, such a great gift. I'm thinking I may get one for my in-laws. Knife aside, all my veggies are chopped up. So to assemble the meatballs, I've added my one pound of 96% ground beef to a medium bowl. I'm adding one heaping scoop of minced garlic, my red bell pepper, my green onions, mint, and fresh basil, some dried thyme or fresh thyme, whatever you have, and salt and pepper. I'm going to spray a skillet with some non-stick cooking spray, and then with our hands, we're going to dig into the meatball mixture, form them into meatballs, and put them into the skillet for cooking. Put your meatballs in a skillet over medium heat and we're going to allow them to cook until they're browned. For the yogurt dressing, we're going to put some minced garlic into a small bowl, one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and a pinch of salt and stir all of that together and that's going to be that Greek yogurt dressing for our bowls. So we are going to put together one of the bowls. The rest of the ingredients I'm just going to set aside and I'll assemble the bowl right before I eat it because I do want my lettuce to stay crunchy. So I'll actually be having this bowl for lunch today so I thought that we could assemble one together so you can see what the finished Greek meatball bowl looks like. First, we're going to add a layer of lettuce on the bottom. We're going to add some grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, whatever you're adding to your bowl. A few olives, fresh cucumber, 
We're going to add four of our meatballs. Sprinkle over a tablespoon of feta cheese and then drizzle over a little bit of that yogurt dressing on top. And there is what one of the finished Greek meatball bowls looks like. We have tons of vegetables, lots of flavor with the feta, the olives, the Greek yogurt dressing as well as those meatballs for protein. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I'm making pineapple delight. I'm so excited for this. It's giving me all the summer vibes. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some crushed pineapple, sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I use the Lakanto monk fruit granulated or the Lakanto monk fruit sweeteners in general. I find that they taste the closest to regular sugar. I will link Lakanto down in the description box for you with 15% off so that you can stock up on your monk fruit sweetener. We're also using the Lakanto powdered graham cracker crumbs, or you can use whole graham crackers and just crush them up, light butter, vanilla extract, one third less fat cream cheese, and either light or zero sugar Cool Whip. Into a medium bowl, we're going to add one and three quarter cup of the graham cracker crumbs, one tablespoon of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, and eight tablespoons light melted butter. Stir that all together and that's going to form a crumbly mixture. We're going to put the graham cracker mixture in the bottom of an eight by eight baking dish. I have my oven preheating to 325 degrees. And then with the back of your spoon, your hand, you're just going to want to press that graham cracker mixture into the bottom of your baking dish. The graham cracker crust is going into the oven for about 10 minutes. While the crust is in the oven, I've added four ounces of one third less fat cream cheese to a bowl. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of light butter, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then with our handheld mixer, we're going to mix that until creamy. I have one and three quarter cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to add it in about a half of a cup at a time and with our mixer, mix until incorporated. Next into a medium bowl, we're going to add eight ounces of the no sugar added or light Cool Whip. You want to make sure that that is softened. Add your can of crushed pineapple and then gently fold that in until mixed. Once your crust is cooled completely, make sure that it is 100% cooled. We're going to add the cream cheese mixture. Spread that out right over the cooled crust. Then we're going to add the whipped cream and pineapple layer right on top of the cream cheese layer. And then once again, spread that out nice and even. This looks so good. It needs to go in the refrigerator, preferably overnight or for several hours until it is completely set. While our dessert is setting up, it is time for a coffee break. I wanted to share my new coffee maker with you guys. It is from Redmond, which is the same company that that amazing knife that we've used for this entire meal prep is from. This is their brand new electric coffee maker. It is so nice looking. It is stainless steel. It has a large craft for coffee, which I really appreciate. I only did a half of a pot. You can do a full pot to serve a lot of people, or if you're a big coffee coffee drinker, lots of coffee for you. It has a built-in coffee filter, so you don't have to buy paper filters. Super easy to fill up with water, add your coffee to the filter. I really like this Kawai Caramel Crunch Coffee. It is so, so good. Simply pop the filter into the coffee maker. All you do is close the lid, hit the power button, and your coffee will brew. You also have the option to set the clock and program your coffee pot for automatic start in the morning. That way when you wake up, your house smells delicious and you have fresh coffee waiting for you. I'll link my cute glass mugs down below for you as well as the Redmond coffee maker. It is absolutely fantastic. I love it almost as much 
as the knife. So it's down in the description box for you. I'm going to take a little break, sip on some coffee before we pull out our dessert for the week. The bars aren't quite set up, but I wanted to show you what the layers look like. So you can see the graham cracker crust, that cheesecake layer, and then the whipped cream. You can see how it still moves a little bit. So it needs to sit in the fridge for another couple of hours, but I thought that I would show you the finished product, pop up serving size, points, and calories here on the screen for you. I can't wait for these to set up so I can dig in. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I cannot wait to dig into all three of these recipes all week long. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website. That is where you will find today's recipes as well as all of my other recipes, links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and the link to come on over. Join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy these recipes. I hope you and your family love them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.